if you've been finding it tough to make Go High Level's conversation AI perform just the way you want, or if you're hoping to choose your own AI model, integrate advanced tools, and keep full conversation memory without overcomplicating workflows. This video is exactly what you need. Today, I'm going to guide you on building an AI powered agent that seamlessly integrates with Go High Level. This will give you the flexibility and control you've been looking for. We'll start by using the nine workflows to drive our conversations. If you're unfamiliar with Nene, it's an incredibly flexible automation tool that allows you to pick your own LLM. With NIN, you can utilize models like OpenAI, Cloud, Gemini, or even a local model, enhance its capabilities by integrating advanced tools such as APIs. I'll walk you through the various tools at my disposal. I have the capability to call upon different tools, allowing for a tailored experience. For example, I've got tools like a solar calculator and a real estate estimator. These are just a few examples. These tools help in contextualizing conversations for the AI agent, significantly enhancing its power. Moreover, you can integrate it with any custom scripts you need. This can help save costs as Go High Level invoices two cents per message and heavy messaging can get costly. Before diving into building the workflow, let's get familiar with the setup in Go High Level. In the custom field section, you'll find a folder containing AI combos and lead replies. This is where lead replies are stored, whether from SMSs, WhatsApp, Instagram, or Facebook. The AI reply field is where the AI agent's replies are kept, and the AI concatenated conversation field stores the entire conversation. In Go High Level, custom fields are allocated to contacts, such as leads, while custom values are tied to the subdomain. Custom values are mainly used to store webhook URLs and replace values across the subaccount. For this video, we'll focus on the webhook combo, which you can see right here. To explain the structure, there's a webhook combo URL triggered when someone replies via SMS or WhatsApp. Uh, various checks are then performed, like checking the channel and directing the path accordingly, updating the contact field and conversation. We clear the AI reply field in anticipation of a new reply. The webhook AI agent uses a custom value and upon receiving a reply, it's stored within the AI reply to maintain the conversation history. Next, we utilize the AI reply to send the SMS and then clear the AI reply field to ensure a fresh start for new responses. This straightforward workflow keeps the process efficient. We'll now look at building this inside N9, focusing on the workflow that generates the conversation. A separate video will cover integrating vector store databases and Postgres chat memory. When the webhook is triggered, it captures the lead reply, which we use within the AI agent. The captured text, json.body, leads to processing the lead reply. Adjust the prompt to suit your needs, then proceed with updating the lead using the LLM nodes response. To update, you'll need to replace the ID using the detached get GHL custom fields function. Be sure to replace the necessary values from your sub-account tests URL. This involves identifying the ID for the AI reply custom field, crucial for correct setup. You'll place this ID in the specified location to ensure smooth operations. As the conversation progresses, it checks for new replies, which the AI agent processes and updates back as a custom field. This updated custom field powers the workflow facilitating SMS delivery. This simple process effectively empowers AI conversations using NIN within Go High Level.